ultrasound assessment of lateral epicondylalgia, our primary focus is our common extensor tendon. So common extensor tendon is a really easy tendon to assess. We just grab our probe and pop it on in, in longitudinal along the tendon. As we move through, we can assess the bulk of the common extensor tendon. If I bring my probe a little bit sitting straight in the middle of a common extensor, I mean most of the bulk of a common extensor, as I bring my probe up towards the patient's head, as I drift up in through here, I get more up into the extensor carpi radialis brevis component, the main component for your common extensor. If I'm in the middle here, we can differentiate nicely the thesis foot plate of our extensor digitorum communis. And as I bring my probe down a little bit, as I bring my probe down towards the table, as I roll down in through here, I get more onto the radial collateral ligament. And we can differentiate the different components in through here of a common extensor and the main part of a common extensor. The top layer, our extensor digital and communis, middle component, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and our deeper component, our radial collateral ligament. So when it's important to assess all the way through the bulk, have a look at the enthesis foot plate. Where your tendon is gonna fail is at the enthesis. So we assess the enthesis of all components. We go up into the main bulk of ECRB and down towards the radial collateral ligament. So you can assess it in long axis, you can assess it in short axis. If I scan, if I bring my probe down towards the patient's hand, if I come down in through here, I can see the muscle over here. My muscle over here is primarily our extensor carpi radialis brevis and our extensor digitorum communis sitting on top and our supinator underneath in through here. As I bring my probe back up proximally, we see our ECRB fibres coalesce themselves up, up in through here to form the main part of our common extensor. So that's the in short axis, our ECRB in short axis. Back towards the muscle, musculotendinous junction, and up towards the tendon and thesis up in through here. So there's our short axis assessment of our common extensor. Injection therapy for our common extensor. Probably the nicest way to do it is in longitudinal. Often I'll go for Sorry, I will go for a virtual convex appearance in through here and bring myself across. I'd bring my needle in from a lateral approach, starting back about a centimetre and quite flat. And you bring your needle in, down and underneath and you can do your dry needling, you can do your intratendinous injections, you can do a peritendinous injection, however you feel, whatever you're trying to treat in through here. So this is the nice way of injecting our common extensor. <coughs> The other approach this gives us when we're in through here is it's a really nice way to inject our elbow joint as well. Because what we have down in through here is we have our humerus and we have our radial head. So in between, underneath that radial collateral ligament is our elbow joint. And it's a really nice way to be able to inject the joint. So you can either bring your, go in short axis and drop your, drop your needle straight in, in the middle and drop down into the joint. Or you can go in long axis as well, which is quite nice as well. So we can grab our humerus off our humerus to our radius. So humerus, radius, in the middle is the joint in there, similar to our AC joint injections. So we go short axis, but we have direct needle visualization. And you pop your needle down in through here and you can inject into your elbow joint with ease. Mm -hmm.